Hi, my name is Tabitha Owanda and you're watching InterSTEM. This is part two of scholarships open to African women in STEM. I hope it adds value to your life somehow. The next scholarship we wanna talk about is Bell Barnell Graduate Scholarship Fund. So this is a scholarship that will be managed by the Institute of Physics and it supports full-time or part-time graduate students studentships ooh, studentships for people um, in currently underrepresented uh, demographics in physics so if you're an African female watching this video you probably fall in that category so it's open to support PhD graduates only and funding is provided as a contribution for up to four years or equivalent mm -hmm. and funds will be tied to the student this is actually the best part about it funds are tied to the student so if the student moves to a different university the funds go with them which is something i wish was there uh, all the time it's open to students studying in the uk or in ireland so this is this is um for students who plan to study abroad. So the next scholarship I'm going to talk about is the uh, L'Oreal UNESCO, they did a collab for women in science. So they are awarding 10,000 euros for doctorates, 15,000 euros for postdocs um, who are studying science, tech, engineering and math. And the conditions for the scholarship is you have to be from one of the 48 sub-Saharan countries. So clearly this is for African women in STEM. But, you know, people pursuing their doctorates or doing research as postdocs or something. The next scholarship I'd like to talk about is the AAUW Fellowship for Women who are pursuing uh, masters and doctoral programs. The AAUW is American Association of University Women. It's um, for full-time study or research in the United States. So it's open to, yeah, it's directed towards women who are neither citizens or permanent residents of the United States. I'm assuming this is one of those scholarships geared to promote diversity in STEM. Um, for women pursuing their master's degrees, there is $18,000. For a doctoral fellowship, is $20,000. For postdoc fellowships, there is $30,000. So there's a lot of money being contributed to, um, to this uh, cause. The next scholarship I'd like to talk about is the Amelia E. Hart Scholarship for Women in Aerospace Engineering. So it's open to women of any nationality. Um, it's worth $10,000 and it's awarded to 30 awardees every year. So that's, that's a lot of money. And then the applicants should be interested in pursuing doctoral uh, degrees in aerospace, engineering or related sciences. So I'm assuming it's things to do with aviation because Amelia Ehart was a pilot and so a scholarship in her name is definitely tailored to women doing things similar to what she did or in the same industry. Um, this is this is definitely an interesting uh, interesting scholarship because I haven't encountered like personally encountered um, an African aeros a female African aerospace engineer. I would love to. Uh, I'd love to meet one in person. So the first bonus scholarship is Zawadi Africa. And Zawadi Africa is a program designed to give scholarships to academically gifted girls from disadvantaged backgrounds. It grants scholars the opportunity to pursue higher education in the US, Ghana, Uganda, and South Africa. All wonderful places to pursue 
higher ed. Um, the second bonus scholarship is the MasterCard Foundation Scholarships for African Women at Wellesley College. The reason I didn't really want to talk about this is because it ties the scholars to a particular school, but Wellesley is still an amazing institution that like you know we'd be happy to to get to so more info on the scholarship is there are nine scholarships to be shared with people from the 54 african countries um comprehensive funding for tuition supplies room and board etc etc uh, the scholarship is valid for four years which is a good thing just one off application and then there's mentorship for the scholarship recipients and internship and job opportunities. So as much as this uh, last scholarship is not tailored to um, women in STEM, it's still open to African women. And if you're an African woman in STEM who wants to pursue your undergrad at Wellesley, I would advise you to apply for the scholarship. So that's it for the scholarships I shortlisted for African women in STEM. And like I said, Financial constraints should never be an issue when it comes to studying abroad because there's a lot of opportunities to get funding from external organizations. There's very few people who can afford to pay full tuition, you know, stress-free. And if you are determined and if you are outgoing and if you're willing to look for the information that is necessary for you to apply for these scholarships in time and have all the requirements ready, then I think you have a really good shot at having financial assistance to support your higher education. Remember, the sky's the limit. Like, push it, pursue your degree in STEM and be the best you can be. Um, if you have any other scholarship that you think I didn't highlight, um, you could always shoot me an email or you could comment or you could dm on instagram um, at the interstem account and i'll be happy to do a follow-up on your suggestions but until then do follow up on these scholarships and try see if you can apply for one really soon and pursue your dreams